parents, my name is Lisa Justice and I'm the principal of Blackman High School. We are so excited that your student is going to be a part of the Blackman family next year. We have been working for months making preparations for the start of your student's high school experience. We want this transition to be excellent in every aspect for both you and your student. Unfortunately, we were unable to host our traditional freshman orientation night on Thursday, March 12th. On that night, you were going to register your student for the appropriate classes. This step is essential in the planning process. Given the circumstances regarding the coronavirus, gathering everyone is not the best plan. So we are reaching out to you in this virtual format so that you can still have the same opportunity to choose the right classes for your student. In just a moment, you will see a video we have prepared for you, providing you information in multiple segments. The first is a video segment that was created by the Rutherford County School District to provide an overview of the credits your student will need to earn in order to graduate from high school. The second video segment will provide additional information specific to Blackman High School and it will walk you through completing an online form where you will choose your students' classes for next year. The final video segment will guide you through the steps of completing your child's online registration form. Please view all of this video in its entirety. There may be some overlap of information. Please know that our hope is to be as thorough as possible with the information we provide for you. We want all students to be in the classes that are the best fit for them. Please watch the videos attentively and follow all directions. Again, we can't wait for you to be part of the Blackman family. We look forward to having you here with us next year. And as we say here, go Blaze. Welcome to Rutherford County High School Orientation. Starting high school is a major step in every student's education. For the next few minutes, we want to explore how parents and students can make good decisions to be prepared for success in high school and after graduation. Every high school student will be required to complete four credits of English and four credits of math. All students must take a math class each year of enrollment. Three credits of science are required including biology, chemistry or physics and an additional lab science. All students will be required three credits of social studies, one half credit of personal finance, one credit of wellness and one half credit of physical education. The physical education requirement can be met by participating in marching band, JROTC, cheerleading, interscholastic athletics, or other school-sponsored intramural athletics. Two credits of the same foreign language and one credit of fine art are required. The fine art and foreign language requirements may be waived for students who are sure they are not going to attend a university and be replaced with courses designed to enhance and expand the elective focus pathway. All students will choose an elective focus. The elective focus pathway requires three credits in a focused CTE program area or three credits above the required courses in one of the following pathways. Math and Science, the Humanities, Fine Arts, AP and IB courses, and JROTC. Tennessee has adopted the response to instruction and intervention framework to address the needs of students who are not demonstrating mastery of foundation reading skills. These students may be enrolled in a Tier 3 strategic reading class designed to target specific skill deficits and close the reading gap. If enrolled in this class, students will receive one half of an elective credit per semester. To meet graduation requirements, the Rutherford County School System will require 23 credits for regular education students and 22 credits for special education students. 11th grade students will take one free administration of the ACT or SAT test. The ACT and the SAT measure college readiness and is used for college acceptance. Your student may graduate with honors if he or she scores at or above all of the subject area readiness benchmarks on the ACT or equivalent score on the SAT. Students will be recognized as graduating with distinction by attaining a cumulative grade point average of a 3.0 and completing at least one of the following. Earn a nationally recognized industry certification. Participate in at least one of the governor schools. Participate in one of the state's all-state musical organizations. Be selected as a national merit finalist or semifinalist. Attain a score of 31 or higher composite score on the ACT. Attain a score of 3 or higher on at least two advanced placement exams. Successfully complete the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. 
earn 12 or more semester hours of college credit. Valedictorians and salutatorians must graduate with honors and with distinction. All requirements for valedictorian and salutatorian must be completed by January 1 of the senior year. Dual credit and dual enrollment opportunities are available for junior and senior students to receive college credit prior to high school graduation. The Tennessee Lottery Scholarships are available for students who qualify for dual enrollment. This scholarship provides two years tuition free education at any of Tennessee's 13 community colleges, 27 colleges of applied technology, or other eligible institutions offering an associate's degree. Thank you, eighth grade students and parents. We encourage you to complete your middle school career by passing all courses and performing successfully on your TCAP assessment. All of this information is available on the Rutherford County Board of Education website, www.rcschools.net. Welcome to Blackman High School. I'm Jenna Hamby and I'm the math department chair. All high school students in the state of Tennessee are required to complete four years of math while in high school. Typically students take IM1, IM2, and IM3 their first three years of high school. IM1, 2, and 3 are the abbreviations for Integrated Math 1, Integrated Math 2, and Integrated Math 3. All three of these courses include a combination of algebra and geometry skills and are taught at the standard and honors level. IM2 and 3 are also taught at the BCA level. The pace and depth of the honors and BCA levels of this course substantially exceed that of the standards course. All IM1, 2, and 3 students are required to take the TN Ready EOC exam at the end of the course. The senior year allows students the opportunity to choose from a recommended math course. Selections available include applied math concepts, statistics, college algebra, pre-calculus, and calculus. Pre-calculus is a prerequisite for calculus. Statistics and college algebra are offered through our dual enrollment program. We also offer two advanced placement courses. They are statistics and calculus, and summer work is required for both of them. If a student takes integrated math one while in the eighth grade, they must still complete four math courses while in high school. They typically will take integrated math two and three their freshman and sophomore years. Their junior year, they will take pre-calculus, and their senior year, they will be able to choose between statistics and calculus. Calculators are not required, but are very helpful for all math students. Our recommendation for a high school calculator is the Texas Instruments TI-84+. However, if you have already purchased the Texas Instruments TI-Inspire CX or the TI-Inspire, they are both acceptable calculators. Please make a note that the Texas Instruments TI-Inspire CAS is not allowed. Good evening. I'm Beth Stone, the English Department Chair at Blackman High School. The English department at BHS is filled with teachers who have a passion for ensuring all students reach his or her potential with a growth mindset for college and career readiness. A Rutherford County student must earn four credits of English to meet graduation requirements. At Blackman High School, you have varying options to obtain these required credits. Each grade level has options for standard and honors as well as classes designed for the Blackman Collegiate Academy student. Advanced placement and dual enrollment classes are offered for the upper level English courses. Standard level courses are designed to prepare students for college readiness following the Tennessee Department of Education academic standards and are available to all students. Honors level courses are designed for students who are capable of and interested in progressing through course material with more depth and rigor. Students are expected to perform at a faster pace, show greater levels of independence, and demonstrate greater skill in writing. Honor students will earn three rigor points on their average for each grading period. Blackman Collegiate Academy courses are designed for the accelerated students in preparation for advanced placement and dual enrollment courses. BCA students will work in cohorts to develop research questions, to practice research skills, and to produce a final research product. Three rigor points are added to student averages for BCS level courses. For the upper level students, advanced placement English literature and language are available as well as English 1010 and English 1020 dual enrollment classes. In addition to the required English courses for each grade level, there are also several elective courses to choose from, including comedies and histories of Shakespeare, creative writing, critical thinking, journalism with either the newspaper, yearbook, or literary journal, mythology, and speech and communications. Summer reading is required for all levels. 
Summer reading options and requirements for incoming freshmen will be posted on the Blackman High School website for all grade levels. Welcome to Blackman High School and have a great evening. Good evening. My name is Kim Bauman, Science Department Chair, and on behalf of the Science Department, I'd like to welcome you to the greatest comprehensive high school in the state of Tennessee. The state of Tennessee requires all students to complete three years of a lab science. One year must be biology, one year must be chemistry or physics, and an additional year of lab science is also required. Rutherford County has revised the science pathway beginning with the 2021 school year. As a result, all incoming ninth grade students will be placed in an appropriate level of either environmental science or biology, which are both lab courses. Our counselors have used five data points to ensure your student is placed in the appropriate course. Environmental science is a revised course offering using a new text that is both rigorous and relevant to students' lives now and in the future. It integrates graphs and data tables into the lab work introducing and reinforcing skills necessary for success on the ACT and in their subsequent science courses. We look forward to an exciting four years of discovery with your student. Good evening parents and prospective students and welcome to Blackman High School. My name is Chris Young and I'm the Social Science Department Chair here at Blackman. Every student must complete a total of three credit hours of social science to graduate. One credit for world history at the freshman level, one credit for U.S. history during the junior year, and a half credit of economics and half credit of government during the senior year. All these courses must be taken and passed to receive a diploma. As far as electives go, we offer a number of interesting courses which are worth exploring. We have human geography, psychology, sociology, and Bible, which are available to all grades 9 through 12, and contemporary issues and African American studies, which are available to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Social science offers all levels of academics throughout the program from standard, honors, BCA, advanced placement, and even dual enrollment. Standard level is what most students take. It meets all graduation requirements and is college entry level. However, if students want a bit more of a challenge and an added payoff, honors courses are available which add more of a writing element to the curriculum. This writing element could be a term paper, essay type of questions on a test, or a unit project. For those students who want even more of an academic challenge, there are several AP options. Human Geography, which can replace the freshman world history requirement, Psychology, U.S. History, Economics, and Government all have AP offerings as well. The AP level courses will have some sort of summer work required and take the AP tests in the spring. Students should see their AP instructor or their counselor to get this summer work assignment. And on behalf of all of us in the Social Science Department, welcome to Blackman High School. Go Blaze. Hello, I'm Senorita Asplin, and I teach Spanish, and I am the department head for world languages. At BHS, we have French, Latin, and Spanish. We offer four levels for each language. You will need two years of the same language to meet your graduation requirement. However, some selected colleges would like you to have three years. Standards and honors are both college-bound classes. However, honors is more rigorous with reading, writing, and speaking prompts. Hello parents and incoming freshmen of Blackman High School. My name is Colonel Jeffrey Gaylord and I'm the JROTC Department Chair and Senior Army Instructor of Blackman High School. If you're looking for an elective course that challenges you both mentally and physically while having fun and learning about yourself, Blackman JROTC is for you. JROTC is a leadership program that promotes moral character development, leadership skills, and individual growth. A typical week as a Blackman JROTC cadet looks just like this. Monday through Wednesday is dedicated to academic days where you receive course instruction. Thursday is our uniform wear and inspection day. And Friday is a physical fitness training day where you exercise as a class. In addition, we offer several before and after school programs. Our Raider teams are those cadets who enjoy competing in athletic events that test their strength and stamina. Next, we have the drill and color guard teams who march as a unit and perform routines based on standard military drill. Finally, our marksmanship team. 
It is a standard air rifle marksmanship program that allows you to compete as an individual and as a team. Now, I know high school can be a very challenging experience with such a large student population, but our JROTC battalion is a close group of cadets that can count on one another. We are a family within the Blackman family. Lastly, there is absolutely no military obligation if you choose Blackman JROTC as one of your electives. If you complete two years of JROTC, you will receive both your health and wellness credit. If you complete three years of JROTC, in addition to completing your health and wellness credit, you will also receive your finance and government credit. Be bold and join our JROTC family to make lasting memories while setting a course for success. See you all next fall. Go Blaze! Other graduation requirements include one credit of fine arts that can be taken in a year. A half credit of personal finance is required and can be taken any time between the sophomore and senior year. All students are required to have a minimum of four elective credits. Three of those electives can be in a single pathway, while one is an extra elective. All students are required to have a wellness credit. And a half credit of PE2 is required and can be taken any time between the sophomore and senior year. Summer work is required for the classes listed below. The Blackman High School website will have more information on these classes beginning in May. As we begin the registration worksheet, Part 1 deals with classes where multiple data points have been used for student placement or for recommendation for other classes. If you would like your student to take a higher or lower course than what is recommended, please come by the school during school hours to sign a parent override. A parent override must be signed in order to change a student's placement in an English, Math, Science, or Social Studies course. Courses with an asterisk beside them, as well as math and reading intervention, comply with the student's current IEP. Tier 2, English 1 Lab and Math Lab, and Tier 3 are courses that provide extra support. Continuing with the registration worksheet, in this section your student will select one of the following, either Wellness or JROTC. In Part 3 of the registration worksheet, students will rank their electives 1 through 6, with 1 being the one they would like the most. Students are encouraged to explore elective opportunities. A decision about a pathway will not be made until the student registers for their junior year. Students are enrolled in elective courses after core classes have been assigned. Therefore, students are not guaranteed their first choice. The student's final schedule could include any combination of the six electives chosen. Be sure to make your choices carefully. The master schedule is constructed and teachers employed based on student course requests during registration. Therefore, changes will not be considered. You're now ready to begin the registration process. Please use the link that is displayed to begin registration. A course catalog and a list of course descriptions is available on the BHS website.